the reason that neurological diseases are actually divided into different diseases is because the perturbations that cause them impact specific cells and circuits in the brain. And if we're going to understand both the pathologic events that cause the diseases and also develop treatments for them, we have to be able to understand the detailed molecular events that occur in the affected circuits versus those that are not affected in a particular neurologic illness. The breakthrough we're reporting in these papers is based on a very simple fact in biology. All proteins made in any cell at any time are made by a small machine called a ribosome, translates a messenger RNA from RNA into protein. And it follows that if you're able to isolate specifically the ribosomes from any cell type, you can then identify all the messenger RNAs being synthesized and translated in those cells and therefore all the proteins made in them. So the new methodology allows us to isolate the messenger RNAs that were resident in that cell without isolating the cell. And this is the key, the key advance, because we can actually um, make extracts of the brain and start the isolation procedure very rapidly after any kind of perturbation. One of the most enjoyable aspects of this work has been the close collaboration between Paul Greengard's lab and my laboratory in developing the methodology so that it can be widely applied to many different questions in biology. It can be used to study any cell in any tissue under any conditions. Paul and I have used it principally to study neurons in the nervous system because that's our interest, but it could be used to study, for example, the responses of specific cell types in the lung to to environmental pollutants or the properties of cancer cells as they metastasize within the body or uh, the properties of cells as they form an, a plaque in an artery in an intact animal. I think it's the broad applicability of this methodology for studying molecular events that underlie pathology and normal function that's going to be extremely important and make this methodology widely popular amongst uh, scientists.